and sit down. Luke Henry, after kicking Monarch's ass to the depths of space, is back on Earth. And now, he's looking to save the world from the Fourth World Foundation. Sure, he had help from Penumbra before, but she's not helping him this time. He's got to face it on his own. Look at these four people. He's coming for a villain known as Adonis. He'll do it. He'll be there. Back it now. First Man 2, learning her. Well, good Saturday afternoon, everybody. Hello. How are you? Welcome, welcome to a little Saturday afternoon pop-in. Is it really mornings with Andy if it's 1245 in the afternoon? No, unless you're on the other side of the world. Then it's 1245 a.m. And it is mornings with Andy. It's always morning somewhere. Uh, Past Master Dan says, first, man, yes, I did. Yes, you did. Yes, 1.7 keeps going up. It sure does. Thank you, everybody, for helping me get there. What's up, Lake Kick? Randy Howell in the house. And Randy, I did get your email with your uh, suggestions, and I will be talking to uh, Aaron Lepresti. He doesn't know it yet. I've got to. I got to give Aaron a call when I get a chance and uh, ask him some stuff. So I will be doing that. Prater, what is up? Just cleaning the glasses. You're like, why are you wearing your glasses? What's up? Uh, Val is in the house. Hello, Val. Thank you for posting the link. Uh, all right. What? Why does Andy sound like he's going to sing show tunes? <sighs> show tunes. I just love singing my show tunes. Uh, uh, because I love show tunes. Uh, just mentioned pancakes. That qualifies as morning stuff. I love pancakes. I don't know what I like more. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles with, bear with me now, waffles with peanut butter and chocolate chips. Oh, yeah. Waffles with peanut butter and chocolate chips. Ooh, so good. Somebody says, got to dance. You mean like this? I'll put on a show. Gotta sing, uh, gotta dance, gotta jump it all around. I got ants in my pants, singing and dancing. That is what I do. That is why I am here for you. Look at that. See, Dan Fraga drops the raps, but I drop the show tunes. So there you go. We are going to see some cool Nexus stuff. Uh, waffles do have pockets full of wonderfulness. So let's get to the Nexus stuff. As my little thumbnail showed, I backed uh, a campaign by Steve Rude. This is the box right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. I don't want... Well, that gets Steve's address. I don't want to be showing Steve's address. Unless you backed it, then you see it. So we're going to unbox some Nexus stuff right here. Right now, uh, Randy says, dang, I came home for lunch and now you make me want to switch to all day breakfast instead of this sandwich. I went to use the end of my stash that I haven't used in two years. Got a bad Crohn's flare up and the stash is gone. No. All right. So I have already taken the liberty to oop, undo the tape because I don't want to use a knife on camera and end up slicing something that I shouldn't slice. So, uh, you know, I took the liberty. Packed very well. Packing material. 
out, out. Uh, let's see what we got here. I got my little invoice of uh, what I'm getting. And I've got the, so I'll just show you guys what I got. This is cool. I guess this was like a stretch goal. Um, don't know. Uh, no worries, Praetor. I, I don't really read stuff before I highlight it. So that's right. Christine will clean it up. Um, check this out. I got me. Oh, it's upside down. I got me a cool little Nexus uh, backpack right here. So look at that. Pretty cool. Just a nice vinyl uh, backpack. That's right. Hit the like button. Everybody make sure to smash that like button. And uh, I'm monetized. So if anybody wants to tip me uh, $1.99 super chat, there you go. Look, you can put lots of stuff in it. So this is pretty, pretty snazzy. I'm actually going to a little one-day con tomorrow in town. Uh, setting up a table of uh, stuff to sell, but I'll be walking around. So who knows? Maybe I'll take this with me to uh, put stuff in. And then the other, the main two things that I got, uh, it is a very cool image. I love, I've been a fan of Steve Rude since Nexus began in the 80s. Uh, I've got the three magazine size ones that I think it was Capital put out of Nexus. Um, what up, Hyper Kaiju? Hello. Because uh, he did a... Whoa. Hold on. Uh, this never happened to me on Ethan's channel. What? A... Whoa, Randy. Say super chat, super chat, super chat, and it'll come. Dude, 20... Thank you so much. I mean, I, I got to be honest, going into this today with this being my first time where I can get a super chat, I was like, I don't know. I didn't know what to expect. I was like, oh, I might get $2. But Randy hooks me up with 20 Canadian. Dude, thank you so much. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that is that is very cool. Uh, why does it say kick? Because Steve did this through Kickstarter. That's why he did it through Kickstarter. Uh, I think he should go to Indiegogo, but you know, what do you want to do? Uh, yes, I am monetized now. Yes, I am. Um, so anyhow, the first thing I got uh, in here is this Thune World uh, ash can. So uh, let's look at this. I have not looked at this yet. Um, let me open it here. Oh, going back. So I have... Every issue of Nexus, get some, yeah, that's right, Randy. I can get me some whipped cream on those waffles now. Thank you so much. Um, so I got, I, I got the first three magazine size issues of Nexus that were black and white. The first one had a Paul Glacy cover. Um, I have those. The third issue came with a record, if you didn't know, yes. And then when it went to comic book size, I got all those as well. I'm a huge Nexus fan. I've got black and white Nexus stuff. Um, oh, oh, this is cool. I didn't even realize in the bag. So this is how it was in the bag. And it's a mini print. So I got a mini print. I'll back it up. There we go. So there's a mini print inside the bag. And then this is the book, as you can see. So let's... Uh, Let's take a look at this book. I'm going to, uh, you know, I, I was going to hold the book up to you guys, but I think I'll set the other camera up real quick and uh, bear with me. I'm going to set the other camera up so we can just look down on it. Uh, give me one shot of poison. I was listening to a little uh, Lita Ford on uh, Hair Nation before I signed on. So now I've got Lita Ford going through my head. Give me one shot of poison. Sweet, sweet poison. One shot of your sweet poison. All right, let's see how this looks. Uh, 
when I switch it down here, uh, I don't know why it's not letting you super chat Val. I, I have no idea. I don't think it's anything on my side. I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, get that cord out of the way. All right, let's see how this camera looks here. Give me one shot. Okay, that's weird. Why is my camera not working? Oh. It says it's on. There it is. Hello. All right. Now it's frozen for some reason. Oh, what is going on? Come on. I'm sure you guys can hear me just fine. Sneeze. I don't have to sneeze. Why is my camera frozen up? All right, hold on. Hello, I'm back. All right, let me switch cams again. It's weird. I don't know why. Now it says the camera's on. Bear with me here. All right, that's weird. It looks like I'll be just holding this up like this to show you guys because uh, this does not want to cooperate today. Ugh, technology. All right, let me just put that back. Okay, so it looks like I'll be holding this up whoop, to show you guys like this. So this is Nexus Thune World right here. This is... Uh, this is part of uh, the camp, the book right there. So let's uh, let's look through this. This is how many pages is this? This is an astonishing 54 pages, baby. 54 pages. Starts with a nice little introduction, beings of wisdom and refined taste on the 1980s uh what are thumbnails oh this is pretty cool so like i said i haven't i haven't looked through this yet so here he takes us through and he shows us thumbnails and uh, this is really cool here you can see the thumbnail right there and then the finished page right below it so that's uh that's pretty cool so he shows us thumbnails and stuff Oh, look at this. Look at that drawing of Nexus right there. Very great line work. It's, uh, oh, I'm trying to remember the name of the artist. But it's not coming to me. But I remember as a kid, that was the shot of Nexus. I remember as a kid going just gaga over right there you know steve rude i mean i mean this this drawing of nexus that drawing of nexus right there is almost 40 years old i think that's from 1982 or 83 steve has come such a long way but i still love that drawing of nexus uh any details on the enigmatic Mike Barron? Nope. Rude. Uh, this looks great. What are his powers? You've never read Nexus? 
son, Val, you've got to read Nexus. Uh, Rude the Dude. Uh, Nexus basically hunts down, uh, well, when it started, he hunted down murderers. And uh, he would have these dreams and he would hunt down murderers and kill them. Astute readers will notice, you'll notice how an often sparse script accompanies the actual finished page. Some more fun text here to read. Man, I've got a lot of reading. Never heard of them. Well, I posted a link in the description below for Steve Rude's website. So click on that link for Steve Rude. You can go to his website. Who owns Nexus now? Steve does. Steve Rude and Mike Barron own Nexus. Yes. Yes, 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 Aaron. That's who I was trying to think of. I'm going to go back. I'm backtracking here. Uh, that is very Franklin Booth. That's the artist I was trying to think of. Franklin Booth line work. Yes. You've never heard of Nexus either? Oh, come on. Donald DeLay's never read Nexus. You guys are killing me here. You got to get it. Go to Steve's website. He's got some books on there for sale that you can get. Uh, here's the black and white art to the cover by Steve Rude. See, Steve's somebody I wouldn't mind trying to get to do a cover for First Man. Uh, the Battle for Thune World. So he's showing some of the script. Uh, part one. Oh, this is pretty cool. So he's got, uh, and this was drawn back in February of 2021. So he's got the script right here and then the page right here. So you can compare his script and his page. So Zaid Comics has never read it either. Man, you guys are, hold on. I got to get, hold on, hold on. Hold on, now I gotta find this little Nexus book that I have. I hope this is it. No, that's not it. Oh, damn it. I've got this Nexus book that Steve just put out. Oh, I don't know where it is. Wait. Oh, right here. You can probably get this from Steve's website. Uh, Nexus, as it happened, this collects... Uh, let's see. This collects Nexus number one from 1981. 1981. That drawing of Nexus that I showed is 40 years old. So this, here, let me get to it. Here's a great Nexus shot. This is 40 years old. This is what Nexus looked like in 1981 when it first came out. Nicholas Greer asks, great question. What's the best book to get for a jumping one point? Start at the beginning. See what he's selling this for. I don't think this sells for that much. In fact, on the back, it says $10. $10. Um, and let's see. This collects Nexus number one, Nexus number two, Nexus number three. And those were magazine size in black and white. Then when it went to full color, it collects... One, two, three, and four. So this collects seven issues. This bad boy is 200 pages. 200, 200 pages of glorious Nexus right here. It's all in black and white. This stuff was originally in color, but this reprints black and white. Um, another shot of Nexus that I, I remember this as a kid. I got to be honest. That Nexus right here where he's in space as a graphic design element, I want to swipe that so bad. It's not even funny. I love that. Guys. Uh, Badger actually guest starred in some Nexus stuff as well. Uh, and the great thing about this is Nexus came out in 1981. And then in 1983, a short two years later, you can really see the improvement in Steve's artwork just over the course of two years. I'm, I'm flipping through trying to find a cool shot of Nexus to show you guys.
Oh, come on. Why is I can't find? Uh, I'm looking for a specific cool shot. And that's not it. That's not it. Oh, oh, this is a great page. That's a great page right there. Uh, that's a great shot right there at the bottom. Hopefully it'll focus. There we go. So love it. Let's go back to Thune World. I got to catch up on some things. Uh, she Zay Combs is here. You know it. Uh, oh, that's cool. Book two next year. Nice. Very nice. Who would win in a fight, Nexus or First Man? I love Nexus so much, I'm going to say it's a, it'd be a draw. Ho, ho, ho. How's that for a non-answer? So anyhow, getting back to Thune World, I'll do a flip through of this book. It just, it, it shows, uh, you know, script or script and then finished page. Um, I, I will do one of my book looks on this for you guys. So you can see it uh, once again, you get to see his thumbnail. So that's what his thumbnail looks like. And then over here is the finished page. I love Steve's black and white artwork. It just holds up so well. Dude, it says that first book is $0. I just got it paid only for shipping. Now, you know what? Okay, I didn't want to say that. I didn't want to say that because I didn't want to be wrong, but that's how I got it as well. Uh, I belong to Steve Rude's um, uh, email list and Steve will send out uh, emails about stuff. And I think it was right around Thanksgiving. No, it was before that. Anyhow, long story short, this costs nothing except shipping. This literally didn't cost me a dime. It cost me, I think, maybe $5 for shipping. So I got this 200-page book that collects the first basically seven issues of Nexus for five bucks. Five bucks. Look at that. That is so cool. So cool. Five bucks. Link in the description below. Um, this was well worth $5. And even though I had the original issues, this sits on my bookshelf. So, but I didn't want to say it was free and then have you go look and be like, that's not free. Oh, here's, here's some great stuff. I don't know if this is still available or if it was only through the campaign. This Thune World. And he calls this, this is so funny because he calls this an ash can. Ash cans are tiny. This thing is eight and a half by 11. So I wouldn't even call this an ash can, but, and ash cans usually aren't 50 pages. There's some more stuff right here. So seriously, guys, go check out that Nexus book. Uh, like Praetor said, that book is free and you pay for shipping. So uh, get it while you can. Um, let's see. Just want to look through some more stuff. This is the tank of water, or it's this tank that Nexus uh, has to go into. Steve Rude is very, Steve Rude's from like the Alex Toth school. So when I show you the other book that I actually backed for the campaign, you'll see a lot of, uh, a lot of the Alex Toth influence um, in it and stuff. So that's this ash can. Here's a character that's really cool. Right there, the dude with the A on his chest. I don't know why my camera doesn't focus. Takes so long to focus. Anyhow, so that's a quick look through of this. I'll do a full book look for you guys later. And then the other book, this is what the campaign was actually for. How to draw the animated Nexus, tips and techniques. And I actually have a DVD of... Uh, a Nexus animated Steve Rude did a short, like three minutes animation of Nexus. It's uh, it's in the it's along the lines of space ghost. So, uh, if you like space ghost, you'll love that. Oh, right here. 
people are like, one of the things you notice when First Man is the top part of his costume that's black is solid black with no highlights. I've got no bone saying I uh, I did that because of Steve Rude's Nexus. I love solid black like that with uh, with no highlights. So uh, check that out. If I ever did an animated first man, it would have to be very simple because the you know anatomy and stuff. It'd be uh, as detailed as like He Man was. But love that. So these are the table of contents. So if anybody is into drawing and stuff, check this out. Donald DeLay knows what's up. He's like, I love that design. So drawing tips, Nexus, Sundra Peel, who I believe is Nexus's wife, supporting characters, villains, ships, figure drawing tips and examples, Nexus animated series layouts. Uh, hey, 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 Tylox the Mighty, what is up? Thank you for joining. That's right. The design is great. So, of course, you get a message from the dude. And then there's a nice piece of art right there. So it starts off before he gets into the how to draw stuff of just some nice uh, illustration pieces of Nexus and such. Now we get into drawing tips. This stuff is great. And it's spiral bound. I love that. So you can you can fold it back on itself. Does Nexus have powers? Does Nexus have powers? Uh, comic talk with Pops Van Sant. Hell, hell, Andy, love Nexus. There you go. Nexus has powers for damn sure. He flies. He can shoot these energy bolts. He's got a cool-ass spaceship. Um, this is drawing tips. That is a great shot of a head for uh, how to construct a head. And then over here, whoops. He, uh, Steve Rude has a very classical way of uh, drawing figures. And his mannequin is very, uh, very useful and and just spot on. It's kind of like from the famous artist school. What's up, Terry? Thank you for joining. I'll do a full flip through of this too. I'm not going to go through every page right now. Uh, this is cool. Right here, Nexus animation procedure. Because when you do animation, you got to keep it nice and simple. Nice and simple. He's got his style guides for uh, Horatio, that's Nexus, and uh, Sundra, his lady. Well, hello, Debbie. Howdy from Frostburg. Ooh, I haven't been to Frostburg, Maryland in over 25, 30 years. Welcome, Debbie. Hello. Please tell your hubby hello from me. I haven't seen him in forever. Uh, Nexus was also a newspaper strip. It was. Oh, I've got more stuff to show you um, in regards to that. I'm not going to go through this whole thing. I'll do a book look for it, but you've got drawing the head. Needless to say, there's more steps to drawing a head than just that, but this is just a simplified version. Uh, Val says, uh, Oh, wow. This looks old school. It is old school, but new, baby. This is where, if you know Alex Toth, um, if you know Alex Toth, you'll totally see how that is Alex Toth looking right there, those designs. Alex Toth has a very specific design sense that Steve Rude um definitely borrows from and i love this this is 
This is the yes for futuristic because on this side, this is just too boring and bland. So you can basically sketch out like this first, but then go, okay, how can we push this even further? Boom. We'll tell John said, hi, he's cleaning out his medicine. <laughs> yeah, tell John I said, hi, I haven't seen him in forever. I haven't seen you guys in forever. I haven't seen Alan in forever. Oh, oh, this right here. This is very Alex Toth right there. Uh, when I did my design sheet for First Man for Drawing Dynamic Comics back in 1997, uh, I based it on an Alex Toth design sheet that he did. I love the simplicity of Nexus in regards to how much anatomy he shows. It takes... Uh, oh, Apex says, got through grocery shopping. I need to pick up Christmas bunt cakes at the bakery. I love bunt cakes. Antonio, hello. Nexus is awesome. And Steve Rude's one of my favorite artists. Me too. Um, I've tried to draw this simple. It is difficult. And I really love drawing anatomy and drawing big muscle dudes. So I'm good with the way I do my stuff. I enjoy how I draw anatomy, but that is awesome looking if you ask me. Guys, everybody watching, 24 of you guys watching, 20 thumbs up. Let's get everybody to hit the like button on this. This is cool. Like I said, I'm not going to go through. I could go through the whole thing. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful right there. Breaking down Nexus. This is like, this, this is stuff that just gets my artistic juices uh, flowing, if you say. Um, here's what the main man, uh, Horatio Hellpop, that is Nexus's real name. Yeah. Oops. Randy says Nexus would fit in Toth's Space Ghost cartoon except for all the executions. That's true. You'd like to see an Andy Smith style Nexus. I can show you one because I've drawn Nexus just for fun. I'm now on the website of the Steve Rude guy. It looks like he has some cool stuff. He does. He does. Uh, I can show you. I, I got a Nexus sketch cover I can show you guys. Oh. Uh. So see, Steve Rude is not a fan of the over-muscled guys. So this is actually kind of funny to me. He's got yes and no. The yes, I like it. I like them both. But the thing is, this pose right here has nice movement to it. The head's tilted. The shoulders and hips are tilted differently. You know, Steve drew this guy standing straight up and down with no motion at all. Now, Steve could have drawn this guy in this pose, and it would have worked, but that's not how Steve draws Nexus. You know, and I agree, this is much cooler than that, you know. I'm trying to tell you, Val, Steve Rude's the man. He's the man. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Now we get to Steve Rude's a hell of a painter, too. Look at that. That is, uh, I believe, watercolor and colored pencil. Steve Rude does acrylic. He does. He's done oils, pastels, just gorgeous. But uh, now we get on to the the ladies. Wow, chicka wow wow, but chicka wow wow. Sundra Peel, right there. Oh yeah. And of course, this is her just chilling. Hello. So. Here's a very nice pinup that he did. 
I love that. Sorry, I was just admiring it. That's a that's a great pinup right there of Sundra and Nexus. Steve Rude really pays a lot of attention to uh, his design with black and white shapes and stuff. Love that little shot of Nexus right there. Very cool. Yeah, he does. Uh, I believe there is going to be more Badger. We'll just have to see. I think a collected edition of all the old Badger stuff would be really cool. So now the rest of this book, he has some supporting characters. So these are the supporting characters in the book right here. So that's pretty cool. Chuck Gibson, the dude rules. He does. Oh, I love this guy. This is uh, Judah Macabre. Look at that. Once again, classic, simple drawing style, but a different body type from Nexus. He's working the different body types. Here you can see uh, the construction mannequin for him. So that's pretty cool. Oh. This is really cool right there. Jill. Meow. <laughs> Let's see. I hope Mike Barron can get Jeff Butler to draw the badger. I don't know what Jeff's up to. Uh, do I know Steve Rude? I've met Steve Rude at a convention. Uh, I've talked to him through Facebook, but that's about it. So uh, I do not, I would not say that, you know, we're like tight friends or anything. I've only met him. This cat's cool. Creed, not the band, but the forearm dude. Cyclops. So that dude's pretty cool looking. And then you got this guy, Sinclair. Oops, hold on. I'm losing my place. Uh, let's see. I kind of hope that you pronounce this name, Giz. I really hope you pronounce that name, Giz. Judah is a badass. It does look kind of look, look like it looks like Tars Tarkas. I can kind of see that. So Giz, I'm saying we pronounce it Giz. Oh, villains. See this. Check this out. This, I think, is so cool because it's literally mostly a silhouette. Spider guy. And you can see the size difference between him and Nexus right there. So. Chuck Gibson says, uh, you should give us a look at that Alpha Flight spread behind you. Now, that Alpha Flight spread is not the original art to that spread because I could never afford that. I was able to find a high-resolution scan of the actual two-page spread, and I basically traced it off line for line, very painstakingly, mind you, so it looks like John Burns' work. I didn't want to ink it like myself. So it's literally, I traced it off line for line. People think it's the original two-page spread, but it's not. Uh, just, oh, this is cool. So I told you Nexus has a spaceship. So this is Nexus's ship. Right there. That's really cool. 
What's up, Joe Bernardo? The Rude Duce have gone. Uh, he didn't he do a Johnny Quest comic? I thought he did. Uh, a Smith recreation. It is. Uh, this is also uh, some of the ship or different ships. And I think. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I really like this. I wish I had more. I love detail, but I love how he's like, no, clunky, squared off design, needless detailing. Yes. Streamline, organically designed, stripped down to essentials. I love that. I think that is super freaking cool. Just nice blacks and whites on it compared to this. Uh, this is the Space Ghost ship right here, I believe, from 1966. And in this, he says, is the trendy revised 1980 version. Ugh. This, to me, looks more futuristic than this. This, to me, looks like modern day. This, to me, looks like something you'd see really far in the future. You know, because to me, future stuff would be really, sl really sleek, you know? This is pretty cool. He's got the diagram of Nexus's ship. Looking down on it, uh, uh, the inside and stuff. So you've got table and chairs, a bathroom, a kitchen, uh, two bunk beds. It looks like. So I mean, it's a it's a big ship. It's uh, that's Nexus's room with two bunks, a chair. You walk down these stairs. There's a kitchen, a dining table and chairs, a bathroom. And that's, you know, that's really well thought out stuff. Everything Steve does has lots of nice curves to it. Uh, oh, you got yours yesterday. Awesome. I got mine like two days ago. Um, a lot of Alex Toth. Oh, totally. What about a first man ship? First man don't need no spaceship. Uh, there's the scout ship that Sundra has. I love this right here. Uh, I I think these things move. Let me see. Wings fold up to release sliding door. Yeah, so that's cool. So these wings on the side go swoop up to the top and reveals a door. So that's pretty cool. And then you can see how big she is compared to the ship right here. So that's a small ship. Uh, Steve Rue did do some of the future quest stuff that DC put out. He did like a Birdman story, I believe. So he did do some stuff. That's a that's a small ship. Oh wait, going the wrong way. And then the last chapter of the book is just some figure drawing tips and examples. These are uh, his drawings that he. I think he looked at Andrew Loomis for these. These look like they came out of the Andrew Loomis book. So, so yeah. So then he, he just has some drawing tips and stuff, you know, very cool right here. So that's uh that's the basic uh, book right here, and then of course he ends it with "Forever Together." Nexus and his babe. Oh, so that's that. I don't know if this is available on his website. Go check it out. See if it is. It's super cool. I gotta take both those inside the house. Uh, got a good question from Joe Bernardo. He says, what's your favorite Hanna-Barbera cartoon of that generation? Space Ghost, of course. In fact, hold on. Whoop. Right there. See the Space Ghost back there? Look at that little Space Ghost back there I got on my shelf. 
Uh, Mike Barron was on Gabe's stream and said Rude was interested in any of his new Nexus scripts for the last few years. Yeah, I think the deal they have is Mike can write Nexus stuff for another artist, and Steve does his own Nexus stuff. Oh, love Space Ghost. Oops, love Space Ghost, but got to go Herculoids. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Oh, here, let me show you guys. Uh, Nick Greer asked if I've drawn Space or Nexus before, and the answer is yeah, just for fun. But uh, you guys might have seen these drawings of Nexus I did before, but I'll show them again because that's how I roll. Uh, let's see. Let me get down to it. Get down to it. Na -na 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 -na. Get down to it. Na -na 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 -na. Share the old screen for you guys. What is Space Ghost? Are you seriously asking me what is Space Ghost? Dude, you need to Google Space Ghost, brother. That's all I can tell you. Oh, no. There we go. So this was a commission from 2008 that the guy wanted Nexus. Uh, the guy wanted Nexus, and he wanted uh, this chick from the Legion of Superheroes. I can't remember. Uh, oops. Let's see. I can't remember this character's name from the Legion of Superheroes, but the guy wanted Nexus. And... Uh, this chick from the Legion of Superheroes. Uh, can we get a close up on that Space Ghost? I love the Space Ghost before it stopped hitting and blasting people. Yeah. Chuck Gibson says, reminds me of the Garcia Lopez's version. I own a page of art from that Jose Luis Garcia Lopez uh, uh, Space Ghost or Nexus comic. I own one page. So there's that uh, Nexus. And uh, let's see. This I did. This is really, this isn't big at all. This is like four by six. It's a real small drawing of Nexus I did for fun in 2020. So this is small. Like I said, this is, this is really a small drawing. I was just goofing around. So uh, there's that little little drawing of Nexus. And then, uh, oh wait, that's the, this is, this is the sketch cover that I did of Nexus, which I still have for sale. And then I wanted to go in and go, what if Steve Rude did this? And if Steve Rude did it, it would be like this, you know? Uh, and I just don't, you know, I like what Steve, I like when Steve Rude does really simplified work. You know, I look at Steve stuff and I'm like, man, that is awesome when Steve does the very simplified stuff. But when I do it, it just doesn't look finished. So I prefer this, you know, this is, uh, if I ever drew Nexus for any reason, this is what my Nexus would look like. So there you go. So that's what my Nexus would look like. Uh, Hey, Andy, do you have the history of the DC universe drawn by George Perez, written by Marv Wolfman? I was wondering if you had to buy the two paperbacks or if the hardback had both books. Uh, I used to have it. I don't have it anymore, but I do want to get it again. So uh, let's see. The MTV Space Ghost talk show was playing weird. Yeah, it was. Thundar kill Space Ghost. You shut your mouth. Uh so yeah, so there's a, there's how I would draw Nexus. Um, let me show you. Let me uh, let me. Oh, and I do have a drawing of Space Ghost. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it real fast. Space Ghost making my dreams come true. Oh, it's going to take forever. Oh, here we go. Here's a space ghost I did in a simple style. 
So this is a space. I love Space Ghost. I love Space Ghost so much. Um, so this is a drawing of Space Ghost I did in a simpler style. Uh, this was all inked, actually digitally inked. So Space Ghost. Da -da 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 -da. Race Bannon could take Space Ghost. Man, you guys are killing me. Where's the love for Space Ghost? Past Master Dan says, I always loved his wrist blasters. So do I. I think they're really cool. Uh, all right. Let me, uh, I'll show you this. Hold on. Space Ghost. Do, 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 do. From the old Warner Brothers store. Uh, I liked Alex's Alex Ross's run on Space Ghost. Didn't he just didn't Alex just draw the covers and somebody else drew the insides? I thought uh, they did do a Space Ghost. Is it Space Ghost Green Lantern? Yeah, they did a Space Ghost Green Lantern crossover, which I thought was cool. Oh, I love Birdman. So this is my Space Ghost from the old Warner Brothers store when they used to have them. Right here. I love the cow. I love how that cow just goes straight down. See if you can see it better. See how his cow goes straight down? I love that. Love it. And you got the cartooniness in there with that big chin. Talk about a chin. Good Lord. Look at that. Look at that chin. Man, that dude, that's like the tick. Tick size chin. His chin is not too big. It's awesome. It's right from the cartoon. All right. The last thing I was going to show you guys from Nexus, I got this. This collects the newspaper strips. Look how big this is. It's called The Coming of Gormandu. Look at that. This thing is great. Look how thick this is. This book reprints the newspaper strips. And it reprints, oh, it reprints, there goes my bookmark, all the newspaper strips in full color. So I'm still reading this. So it reprints all the newspaper strips in full color. And then, uh, and he had, it's funny because he has a Silver Surfer type character in here. Steve created a Silver Surfer type character right there. Gnosis. So that's pretty cool. And then he even created a, uh, yes, Joe, there was a newspaper strip. He even created a Galactus type character too. Hold on. Uh, let me see if I can find the Galactus type character. Uh, that's not a good shot. I want to find a good shot of the Galactus type dude. It might be the only one. Ah, let me see. Gormando is the character of the Galactus. Andy, what do you think about Dr. Solar? I like Dr. Solar. Um, I got to draw him once for Valiant. When I was working for them back in the in the day. Hold on, let me see if I can find that Galactus type dude. Do 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 do. Oh, here's the Galactus type dude. Oh book is so big. That's the Galactus type dude that he created right there. Gormandu. So, and then in the back of the book, so there's 96 strips in here. And then when you get to the back, these are going to be harder to see. But in the back of the book, he printed all the pencils to the stuff. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but he printed the pencils to every strip as well. So I love those. 
so cool. And then after the pencils, he printed, so there's 96 pages of pencils. And then after the pencils, let me get to that same page. He printed all the inks as well. So this book collects the full color strips. It collects the pencils and it collects all the inks to the strips as well. Randy, a $2 super chat. Dude, you rock. Gourmet Galactus. You know it, Randy. Thank you so much. Uh, Andy, your dream team up. Nexus First Man Green Lantern Guardian Space Ghost. That would be my dream team up. Love me some pencils. Oh, yeah. Space Ghost is my favorite. You know it, brother. Mine too. Uh, let's see. And then there's more stuff back here as well. I got to finish reading this. Jesus, I have so much stuff to read. Uh, let's see. And then he, he did a cartoon strip called Out There as well, which he printed some of. Uh, so he got a strip called Out There that he did. And then he also printed some of the moth stuff too in black and white. And the moth is a circus type character. Well, there's a couple pages. All right, so there's only two pages, but still. The moth. So this book is awesome. Look at that. So good. I love this book. I love it. Mm. Love it. Uh, Andy, what do you think about the Silver Hawks? Dude, I love the Silver Hawks. The Silver Hawks is another one I would love to draw. Uh, that newspaper strip book just hit my Amazon cart. Steve should cut you in, Andy. Is it this, Chuck, is it this big full-size one or is it the smaller one? Because didn't he do a smaller one as well? Here, hold on. Let me go to his website. Oh, Joe Bernardo, Joe Bernardo, $5 Super Chat for you getting monetized on your Super Channel. Get yourself a coffee on me. Thank you so much, Joe. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Guys, uh, here is uh, Steve's website. Let's look at it together, shall we? Oh, that's huge. So here's Steve's website. Let's go to a shop. Books. Uh newspaper strip let's take a look uh my buddy actually inked number one of the silver hawks comic book back from the 80s let's see So this says $0. Oh, this is a download. I guess this is a download too. So you can download. Oh, Gourmando newspaper strips. What is this? Oh, so this is signed. Okay, so that's what that is. Oh, another one. Oh, guys. Ellie Manu's. I'm sorry. I know I butchered that. Congrats on your monetization. Get a pastry with that coffee. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, what do you think of this, of a first man, Superman crossover? I think it would be awesome, man. You don't know how much I love, uh, I love me some Superman. I, I would love that. So look at this, uh, newspaper download six page free promo strip. Cost nothing. It's a free download guys. What are you waiting for here? Hold on. Oops. 
go get yourself this download for free. This is like a little origin of Nexus right here. So get yourself some of this. Uh, let's see what else he has. Oh, that was okay. That's that. Let's go back home. Books. Uh, comical books. Let's see what comical books. That's right. Free doesn't get any better. And it's a download, so there's no shipping cost either. Oh, Joe's talking football. Oops. By the way, your boys better not let me down for my Super Bowl bet. Cowboy Patriots. Really? You think it's going to be the Cowboys and the Patriots in the Super Bowl? Woof. Uh, Luke Henry would be John Kent's new daddy. You're damn right he would. Uh, they could pay me to buy it. There you go. Uh, so, you know, you got these comics here, but where's that one thing? Uh, let's see. So these are individual comics. Let's go to paperback, see what comes up. So he's got the Alien Justice trade paperback for 17. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's just do Nexus. I'm trying to find that one book. These are the individual comics. There's a download for nothing. That's cool. Oh, Nexus Ashcan. I don't even know what this is. Free is my favorite price too. So this is free. Uh, double sized. Nexus 100. I mean, that's uh, that's pretty cool right there. Oh, here's a description. Nexus 100 Space Opera at 204. Issue 100. I mean, this is 48 pages. And it's free. You pay for shipping. I mean, how cool is that? If you want to get it signed... Five bucks. So, I mean, that's uh, that's pretty cool. So, uh, and yes, go get yourself some First Man if you haven't backed that yet. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty cool, man. So, there you go. Get yourself some First Man. Saving money on Nexus stuff because it's free allows you to uh, go back the coolest campaign around First man, volume two, learning curve. Look at that creeping up on 40 grand, 589 backers, 11 backers to go to 600. If you haven't backed this yet, please go back. First man, uh, it's my book. I'm so proud of this book. I just inked the page this morning. Um, Luke Henry, a college student who can transform into the seven foot, 285 pound First man is back on Earth fighting the Fourth World Foundation. They created a being named Adonis who is trying to siphon off First Man's powers. First Man ain't going to let that happen, no. Heck no. First Man is here to uh, kick some butt and take some names. So there you have it. Let's do it. And, uh, Back it now. Oh, look at that. What is going on there? Yes. This book looks amazing. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see those four people. You're looking at them right there. A first man t-shirt would make a great gift. And, uh, you know, you can get yourself that first man t-shirt right there, baby, on the campaign page. Ten color Print on the front, monochromatic penumbra on the back. Get yourself the book and the black book while you're at it. A retrospective of my art, 112-page hardcover black book. 
get that as well. So uh, check it out, guys. You will not be disappointed. That's right. Back it now. Back first man too, or else. Exactly. Exactly. Guys, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Um, I've got a convention tomorrow, so I won't be streaming tomorrow, but I'll be putting up another book look so you can check that out. Until tomorrow, when that comes out, I'll be back on Monday. I hope everybody have has a great weekend. And uh, I will see you guys later. Thank you all for the super chats. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. That is so awesome. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I love you guys sincerely. I will see you guys later. Uh, you know, until then, this is what I'm bringing back. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. Get your sexy out.